So obesity medicine is a new subspecialty of medicine. Uh, it started in the United States about 10 years ago. Uh, I trained in obesity medicine at Harvard Medical School, so I was one of the first fellows in the U.S. in obesity medicine. And in this specialty, we are focusing specifically on weight issues and the condition uh, that we now call obesity. And obesity is a condition in which your body has excess or too much fat, and it's bad for your health. So as obesity medicine specialists, we look at the whole patient, do a holistic evaluation of the patient, and decide what is the most appropriate course of action. Uh, because people should know that now there are many therapies uh, for weight loss and for obesity, um, many valid and evidence-based therapies. Uh, so some of them are lifestyle-based therapies, others are pharmacotherapy or medication-based therapies, uh, and others are surgical therapies. And you really want to go to a professional that is aware of all these therapies, not just one of them, right, so that they can guide you to the, the type of treatment that's most appropriate for you. So I don't favor one therapy over another. Over another. I uh, believe in all of the evidence-based treatments, as long as they are evidence-based. Um, but what I do believe in is evaluating you and finding uh, the right treatment for the right person at the right time. So obesity surgery is a very valid uh, and effective therapy for weight loss uh, for some people. And um, people should understand, though, that the surgery itself is not the only part of the treatment. Surgery is one component of the treatment. Um, so you get surgery, and afterwards, there's many things that people need to be aware of. They need to know how to transition in their diet afterwards. Right? They need to know what kind of activities they should or should not be doing, how they should be managing their sleep, their stress, uh, really to get the most out of the surgical procedure. Because when it comes to weight loss, there's two components of weight loss. One is the weight loss, and the second is the weight maintenance. And if you don't focus on all you need to do to maintain the weight, the regain rates from surgery five years out, ten years out, are fairly high. So in order to prevent that, you need a team. You need a nutritionist and an obesity medicine specialist uh, to optimize your weight loss results and as well as to prevent any of the short and long-term complications after surgery. So surgery is safe, but there are complications and all of them are preventable if you're followed by a team.